Well, uh, naloxone, which is known by its brand name Narcan, is now mandatory in all Minnesota schools. It's, it's used to reverse opioid overdoses, and it's becoming more and more common. So what exactly is naloxone? Good question. Heather Brown went to a school in Bloomington to find out. There are six total doses here in the middle school. Inside Oak Grove Middle are doses of naloxone someone can inject. Um, the nurse has a locked cabinet of medications and keeps the kit right here. And doses of nasal spray kept with the AEDs. Okay, so they're here for easy access. Correct. So you've had these now for five years. Have you ever had to use them in school? Unfortunately, we have had... Hannah Hatch is the director of health services for Bloomington Schools. One time it was given in the ambulance, and then another time a nurse administered it within schools. How easy are these to use? The nasal version is extremely easy, just one spray up the nose. Uh, up each nostril? Um, just one side. Oh, just like Afrin. Spray, just like Afrin. Can anyone use this? So really anyone who's trained in administering it can. And even if you're not one of the dozens of people trained across the district. In Minnesota, you are protected if you are giving it out of good faith and in suspecting it. And the good thing is it really doesn't harm someone if they don't need it. It just helps if they do need it. Naloxone's now mandated in the schools. Yes. Should we all have it in our own homes? Absolutely. You should actually have it on your person wherever you go. So Alicia House runs an overdose prevention nonprofit. I think people might be surprised to hear that. Why is that? Yeah, I think a lot of people, um, unfortunately, if they say to themselves, well, I don't use, I don't yeah. need that. But the truth is that it's not about necessarily you needing it. It's about the the chance that somebody you come across could. Her group will distribute 150,000 doses of naloxone this year. We will mail it to people's doorsteps at no cost. They also offer in person. For the intramuscular, you're just going to pop the cap right off the vial. And virtual trainings. How does naloxone work? Yeah, so good question. The opioid is capping your receptors in your brain, causing your breathing to become suppressed. So what it's able to do is it kicks those opioids off and caps that receptor, preventing the opioid from reattaching. And when it does that, um, it brings literally breath back to you. It also brings these schools another tool, a last resort that those in Bloomington are grateful to have. We're responsible for 10,000 students right. in this district, and this is just um, a little peace of mind that we could help. Heather Brown in the event of an emergency. WCCO News. You can buy naloxone over the counter now, and Heather put a list of places to get free doses on WCCO.com.